What's up everybody, Phil Blackman with Farben.com and today we are going to cover all of the divisions and their winners at the 2020 Olympia weekend. We're gonna go through and give you the quick highlights as to what happened in each division and who was ultimately crowned the champion. If you wanna learn anything more about each division as it took place over the weekend, just go over to Google, type in Barben plus whatever competition you wanna read about, it'll come right up. You don't wanna miss any of our coverage. It was a lot and it was an epic, epic 2020 Olympia weekend. We're gonna start things off in all of the women's divisions. So first up first, the return of the Miss Olympia. After being absent from the Olympia weekend since 2014, the Miss Olympia competition returned and saw Andrea Shaw run back her victory from the 2020 Rising Phoenix World Championships earlier in December and become the 12th ever winner of the Miss Olympia Championship. Next up, we have the Women's Physique Division. Shanique Grant, who has had a stranglehold on this division for the last two years, uh, was in competition. The 25-year-old was the favorite to win a third title in a row. And after a brief pose down, by the top five competitors, the fans saw the first upset of the weekend. Sarah Villegas was named this year's Olympia champion in this division with Grant finishing as the runner up. A big upset to kick off the weekend. Huge, huge victory for Villegas. Congratulations to her. Next up, we have the women's figure division. Now, this is a division that has been dominated by Sydney Gillen for the last three years. She's won them consecutively, uh, and she's going to leave Orlando as a four-time Olympia champion. She took down the title again. Uh, nobody was able to compete with her, although it was a very close call at the end. Ultimately though, Gillen, four-time Olympia champion, congratulations. Next up, we have the fitness division. Now the fitness division is different from the others because of the two minute dance routines that they have to perform in the finals, which accounts for two thirds of their overall score. It came down to the final moments, but Missy True Scott was actually able to top both past champions to become the winner in 2020. And the final division for the women, we have the Bikini Olympia. Uh, Elisa Puccini came into this contest as the current Miss uh, Bikini Olympia champion. Among the contenders favored to face her was the two-time champ, Angelica Cheshera. However, the judges appear to be comparing everyone to the final call in, in the final callouts to multiple-time runner-up, Janet Leib. She had been chasing the title for a long time. This was her sixth time at the Olympia. It seemed like 2020 was going to be the year that she actually uh, took the crown. And as fate would have it, that's what ultimately came to pass. Leog was crowned the 2020 Bikini Olympia champion. Jennifer Dory claimed second. Big, big win for Janet Leog. Congratulations to her. Moving on to the men's division, let's get right down to it. We have the Mr. Olympia contest. Now, first things first, Dexter Jackson at 51 years old called it a career after giving an emotional speech and a final posing routine. His bodybuilding career spanned four decades and included an Olympia title in 2008. Absolutely one of the greatest of all time. The final call out came down to four competitors in the uh, pre-judging. It was Phil Heath, Big Rami, Hadi Chupan, and Brendan Curry who was the returning champion. After Big Rami was named the people's champion, it seemed like Rami was poised to finally take his first ever Mr. Olympia title. But it was still anybody's game after the top four call out. Bonac was actually bumped out of the top four call out and, was the, and that was indicative of his eventual fifth place finish. Fourth place for Hadi Chupan, who fell one rank from his 2019 third place finish. Third place was the final placement for the returning seven time Olympia champion, Phil Heath. In the end, it was Big Rami who brought the package that rose to the title of 2020 Olympia champion. He is the 16th man to ever hold that title and the first non-American to win the Mr. Olympia Championship since 1997 when British uh, Dorian Yates took it down. So congratulations to Big Rami, finally a Mr. Olympia champion. Moving over to the 212 division, Sean Clarita finally put his name in the record books as an Olympia champion. He wins the 212 Olympia contest, though some fans were surprised because the 2019 champion, Kamal El Garni, was looking deserving. I mean, he brought in an insane package as well. He ended up coming in second, uh, very deserving of a top two finish. It was anybody's game, but it was Clarita, who has been on an upswing his entire career, and that hard work finally paid off as he is the 2020 Mr. Olympia 212 champion. 
Moving over to the classic physique competition. It was a battle, it seemed, between Breon Ainsley and uh, the returning champion, Chris Bumstead. At the end of the day, the big sp surprise came when Ansley was uh, named to be the third place finisher, and that meant that Chris Bumstead retained his title. Uh, he is now a two-time Classic Physique champion, so now both him and Ansley are two-time Classic Physique Olympia champions. Congratulations to Chris Bumstead for retaining. That is your 2020 champion. Moving over to the men's physique competition, it was a really tight race between the top five competitors, but ultimately it came down to just two. It was a battle between the 2019 men's physique champion, Raymond Edmonds, and the 2018 physique champion, Brendan Hendrickson. Now, both men brought extremely tight packages to the stage, but ultimately the scorecards read at the top, Brendan Hendrickson reclaiming the Mr. Olympia Physique Champion. He is now a two-time champion. He won in 2018 and now reclaims it in 2020. That left Edmonds down in second place, but still incredible packages brought by both competitors, but congratulations to Hendrickson. And finally, we have the Wheelchair Olympia Contest. Harold King Kong Kelly went back to back to back, claiming yet another title at the Wheelchair Olympia here in 2020. He is the only athlete to ever hold that title since the division was added to the Olympia weekend. He shows no signs of that changing anytime soon. Congratulations to King Kong Kelly for another win at the 2020 Olympia weekend. So there was a lot of action this weekend. Really big congratulations to all of the winners this year. We look forward to covering the 2021 Olympia where we know that all of the contestants are going to bring the best packages they've ever brought again. We look forward to it. But until then, I'm Phil Blechman for Barben.com and we'll catch you next time.